Yeah, my name is Ravi Kumaldi, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVIT. So I today I'm here to explain the problems on cube and hexahedron. So these two problems make a huge impact in the projection of solids, especially if these two problems come into your exam. So students, uh, chances of uh, failing is more. Okay. So because especially in the hexahedron, so hexahedron they'll take uh, they'll give uh, you know the uh, diagonal lines are perpendicular to the EVP. Okay, if sometimes if people very difficult to construct that how we have to construct the uh, the diagonal to perpendicular to VP. Okay, that we'll explain today. So cube, yeah, cube first problem is cube of 40 mm sides rest on HP on side which it is inclined to VP at 30 degree. Draw projection when lateral square face containing the edge on which it rest is makes an angle of 50 degree to VHP. So cube means all sides are equal. Okay. So if you're looking from top of an object, it looks like a square. If you're looking from front of an object, it looks like a square. So first we have to construct its edge condition, right? So cube, if you're looking from top of an object, it looks like a square. So we have to construct edge condition square. Okay. So all sides are 40 mm. Yeah, all sides are 40 mm. Then uh, you have to join. Uh, yeah, this cube is containing a top face and bottom face, especially. Okay, so top face will be a yeah, in this problem. I am taking a top face which is name it as A B C D and the bottom face I am taking it as uh, P Q R S. Okay, so A B C D and P Q R S. Okay, which is the resting side? So so resting side is towards always towards your right hand side. Resting side is always towards your right hand side. Means this is the resting side. So this is the top view of an object. Again, if you're looking from uh, yeah, if you're looking from front of an object. Okay, if you're looking from front of an object again, it looks like a square. So draw projection line upward, then take a 40 mm. Then you have to join with the help of square. So everything is joined. Okay, so what next? You have to do the naming. So as so this is a bottom face, okay, and this is a top face. Okay, and this is top face and this is bottom face. So here the the top face will name it as A B C D. Top bottom face will name it as P Q R S. So here, yeah, we'll take a P Q R S here, and here we'll take a A B C D. Okay, so this complete the first position. The naming you already know, so no need to explain much in this. So naming is already known. Yeah, what is the next position? So next position is you can see the the head jan which is inclined to VP at 30 degree. This is the final position, means last position. So here lateral square face containing the head jan which it rest makes an angle of 50 degree with HP. So which is the lateral square face containing the head? So this is a lateral square face is containing the head. Okay, this edge is inclined to HP at 50 degree, not axis, please remember. The edge is inclined to HP at 50 degree, yeah. The complete face is inclined to VP, uh, HP at 50 degree, yes. The PSR will be placed it on X, Y line, then if we have to rotate, this will be 50 degree. Okay, the naming is done. Next, we have to draw projection line downward, yeah. We have to identify, we have to identify which are invisible and which are visible edges. Yes, if you're looking from top of an object, this complete top face is visible. Yes, so top face is visible. Next, if you're looking from top of an object, this point S and R, the point is invisible. Means this line is a invisible line. Okay, will represent with the help of uh, red line. You can see. Okay, so this is an invisible line. Okay, all other are visible line. Next is what base edge is in 30 degree to VP. So base edge is what this is a base edge. Okay, this is inclined to be paired 30 degree yeah. take a 30 degree you can place okay placed next do the naming yeah next is what you have to do the projection line upward yeah if you're looking from bottom of an object this bottom face is completely visible so we have to use it with the help of visible line yeah so pqrs is with the help of visible line next is what we have to identify which are the visible and invisible see point uh, d is away from the observer okay so point D is away from the observer, okay. So joining from D to any other, it's always invisible line, see. So D to S is invisible, D to C is invisible, D to A is invisible because the D is away from the observer, okay. So this completes the Q problem, okay. Here is very simple, only thing you have to uh, make sure that lateral square face means the square face is inclined to HP at 50 degree, means this edge is inclined to HP at 50 degree. Clear? So not axis. Please remember, it's not axis. Edge is inclined. Okay. We'll see uh, oh hexahedron. Hexahedron, you already know, it is a six uh, square faces. Okay. Hexahedron means it's a six square faces. Hexa. Okay. Yeah. Thirty mm sides. So if you're looking from top of an object, hexahedron is look like a 
square but it is in corner position they are resting on one of its corner you know first position will see so corner position okay so uh, uh, diagonals yeah in the x hydrant also it is having a top face and bottom face so top face is as uh, we can see here uh, we have considered top face is p q r s and bottom face we have considered a b c d okay yeah so we have to draw projection line upward your projection line upward then see uh, if you looking from top of an object it look like a square but if you looking from front of an object it look like a rectangle not a square okay yeah you see clear okay so this is a 30 mm side and height is 30 mm but the width is uh, is more because it it is a corner position next the naming is done okay this is a first position yeah next position is very important see next position they given such that one of its diagonal is perpendicular to vp so diagonal is what see p to c r a to r so here we will consider p to c this p to c will be diagonal to you know perpendicular to the uh, vp if the this p p to c is perpendicular to the vp it understood that it's a parallel to the hp okay means if this diagonal is parallel to the hp you have to understood that it's perpendicular to the vp yeah so how to construct second position so diagonal parallel to the so drop parallel line okay draw parallel line means measure this p to c and then draw one parallel line next is what you can place means you can you can select this complete thing and you can rotate but the point a should be on x y line okay the point a should be on x y line okay so this is how you can place the uh, second in second position then draw projection line downward yeah we have to identify which is invisible the point a is a invisible okay so here you'll get the invisible edge you can see okay the red color lines are invisible lines clear so what is the next in so that very simple next is what see you can take p and r okay sorry p and c is a diagonal line this complete line you have to make it perpendicular to the vp okay yeah you can see is placed perpendicular to the vp you can see the naming so p and c is perpendicular yes completed very simple very very simple problem okay so now p and c is a perpendicular to the vp yeah next is you have to draw projection line upward then you, can, you have to complete the things okay so yeah if the c is away from the observer so point c joining from point c to any other point it is with the help of invisible line okay and this uh, a to p is a visible line okay so block line is indicate that it's a visible line okay so this complete the problem x hydrant problem see problems are very easy the only thing you have to concentrate on construction you have to draw diagonal line okay and you have to draw we see if the line is perpendicular to vp it understood it is a parallel to hp okay so if the line is parallel to hp then you have to construct it very simple okay very simple manner you have to construct okay so if this construction is completed then there is no need to uh, you know uh, no need to worry about that because uh, this problem is only construction construction wise okay 